<sighs> I beat the living hell out of this motor this year. Um, only did valve lash shit, I think. I think I only did it a couple times mid year. I only got about four hours, I believe. It said there on my little. I don't know, tack hour meter thing that I got. Um, this motor here revved to 7940. Every single time is what it would rev out to, I believe is what it was. I'll double check that here in a second. Um, it's a real simple setup. It's not even on roller rockers. Basically, I just wanted to check the valve lash and see how off it got. Let's remove the valve cover, spark plug. Holy shit. Running, running super rich is looking like, but thing ran like a beast. It didn't look like it was running that rich earlier in the year, but I guess, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. That was after some rejetting and all that stuff to the 22 mil Makuni there. That thing, it's a nice carb. It's better than a stock carb, that's for sure. Um, something I'd recommend if you hate dealing with your stock car and all its troubles all the time. Um, going to find top dead center. Check valve blast right away. Pretty damn close. That's on the wrong stroke, which it probably is. All right, there is top dead center. There's, I guess for a beginner or somebody that's just getting into this um, just because your pistons at the top don't mean that you can set your valve lash just directly off of that um, you gotta make sure that it's the right stroke because if I turn it again and bring it right back up you'll notice that uh, one of the valves is still open or it's not not completely in the correct place so I guess what I'm trying to say is you just gotta find the correct top dead center make sure you're on the right stroke I had a buddy do that quite a few times I did it shit I did it too back in the day a couple times so um, just something to look into I'm just going to check the valve lash right away on this. I usually run .003 on mine. On this engine at least I've always ran. And Yeah, they're both probably a little looser. That's for sure. They definitely loosened up since the last last runs. That's for sure. Which is probably why I lost a little bit of RPM. Um, let me check the tack here right away.
7920 is what it would rev to for the last I don't know six seven races I had it in but it was constantly doing 7940 before that so I had a feeling that valve lash was probably off a little bit needed to be adjusted and I figure might as well just I don't know rebuild the whole motor again and probably gonna do I don't know I'm doing a whole different setup this time I guess we'll see where it where it ends up but I do I do my own port polish work on these this one's pretty gutted out um, it's got different valves flat valves one three rockers um, 26 pound springs I believe it was that I put in this one um, a cam of my choice um, it's a really simple build this one was it was really easy um, spent more time porting and polishing the head than I did building the whole motor um, it's got flywheel the all the works that way I mean all billet um, flat top piston billet rod um, and yeah it's even a predator head on this one too so I don't know I guess we'll see what she looks like after I get inside of there after a minute go from there